Hi. I'd like to talk about uh, a feature of Wi-Fi 6 which uh, does not get mentioned very often. Uh, we talk about uh, OFDMA and how it can help with high density scenarios. But there is also an interesting flexibility feature as a reason uh, or the way by we, which we use OFDMA, which is called as preamble puncturing. My name is uh, Srikant and I am with NanoCell Networks. So how does this help, this preamble puncturing? And then maybe we can talk about what exactly it is. So today we have in 11 AC and of course in 11 AX, both 80 meg and 160 defined. But if you go and look at it from the 5 gigahertz perspective, the effective use of these bandwidths uh, are a little, you know, under the cloud. And why is that? Let's take an example of an 80 megahertz case where you have 420 slices. And let's say you have your primary 20 here. In case one of your immediate secondary 20s is busy for some reason or the other, then even though the bottom 40 is free, you can't really use the bandwidth very effectively. Basically, you are restricted to just using the primary 20. Okay, So this makes the probability of using 80 meg and of course 160 meg even more so, a little more challenging in crowded environments. This is where preamble puncturing's flexibility comes in. Okay, So what is the idea? The idea is that if we have scenarios like this, in, because of the use of OFDMA, we could use the rest of the 20 slices which are available. I've given an example here where we leave this 20 which has some activity. It could be other BSS activity. It could be some DFS activity on that particular channel. Whatever might be the case. Okay. And why do we call it preamble puncturing is because this is an 80 meg PPDU where we would send legacy preambles on the 20 megs as well. So the entire legacy plus whatever else was originally supposed to be here, everything is knocked off now. Okay. So the preamble puncturing word comes from the fact that we don't even send the legacy 20 preamble as a part of this 80 meg transmission. Also to note that Though I've shown station one in this 20, remember that once we use OFDMA, we could use other stations as well. Okay, It's not just station one, that's just an example. So what it has opened up, even for this very simple 80 meg case, is the ability to use, say, the 60 meg of the bandwidth much more effectively as compared to the 11 AC scenario. Some examples allowed in the Wi-Fi 6 or 11 AX standard are, for example, the case that we just saw, okay, another case, another case, and some other cases as well. In fact, in Wi-Fi 6, this is just explored at a very initial level. And I would say with Wi-Fi 7, which is coming up already in, as far as standardization is concerned, this is going to be taken up a little bit bigger way with all kinds of flexibility. So in summary, preamble puncturing gives us the flexibility to use the large bandwidths like 80 meg and 160 meg. Basically in the presence of other things, and I say other things because it could be Wi-Fi, it could be non-Wi-Fi, it could be some DFS, all those things which might sort of prohibit us from using a 20 meg in a larger bandwidth can be just left aside and the rest of the bandwidth used effectively. Okay, and watch out for this feature getting bigger in Wi-Fi 7. Hope that was useful. For more information, please do visit our website. Thank you. Have a nice day.